Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Uh, we have discussed about so many houses from Venus, so many planets in houses from Venus. And now we have reached the 10th house from Venus. I'm not sure if I have completed all the houses in my knowledge, yes, from 1 to 10. If not, then please let me know in the comments which houses have I not completed, right? So, What's the house today? 10th house, not from your ascendant or moon. It's the 10th house from Venus. So what is the 10th house? The 10th house is, in general, if you see from the Lagna, it is the house of karmas, right? Where we perform most of our karmas or significant karmas or prominent karmas. So whenever we say 10th house is the house of karma, it does not mean that's the only house of karma. Every house, all the 12 houses in astrology, they are houses of karma. But the 10th house shows karma that we are known by, right? We are known for. So therefore, the 10th house is a very important house because it is the house of resolutions. It's the house of decision making because uh, it's the house of Mercury, which is the house of knowledge and skills. And it's the house of the sun, which shows making a commitment basically. So therefore, if you have a planet in 10th, from Venus, right? So if your Venus is in your first house, then of course your 10th house is the 10th house from the Lagna itself. But suppose Venus is in your second house, then it's the 11th house, right? So once you understand what the 10th house is, then you can understand what does it mean to have a planet in the 10th house from Venus. So that means if you have a planet in 10th house from Venus, it can either help you or stop you from making commitments in your relationships, right? The 10th house from Venus can show uh, non-negotiable things within a relationship, right? Non-negotiables, okay? Now, what is that non-negotiable? That will depend on the horoscope. That will depend on the placements of the planets. But in general, you have to understand that the 10th house from Venus has the power to uh, either uh, enhance the relationship and take it to the next level or it has the power to give you a lot of, you know, defamy or destruction within the relationship, right? Now here, defamy does not mean external uh, defamy uh, because that has to be seen uh, in the 10th house from the Ascendant, not from Venus for general things in life or from the 8th house from the Ascendant or the 12th house from the Ascendant, but Especially if you see our 10th house from Venus, it can give you very good clues in relation to things that you need to do at any cost. Then these are certain things which uh, if you try to evade or avoid, um, it will only end up making matters worse. Okay, And as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your Venus career or anything else, then you can always visit my website down in the description box. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him irrespective of which planet is there in the 10th from Venus, right? So the 10th from Venus is a very special place because imagine you want to make a commitment to somebody. Then some people tell me that, oh, my uh, you know, boyfriend or my partner is not, uh, or even the girlfriend sometimes is not able to decide if they want to uh, stay with me, you know, what's going on? Do they want me? Uh, yeah, that's how Kali Bhai is, even after um, staying 10 years in a relationship, premarital relationship, people are sometimes confused. Uh, should I uh, marry this person or should I not, right? Or should I just uh, hang on for some more time uh, until I find somebody better? <laughs> right? So that's what Kali Yuga is. Uh, people are uh, always <clears throat> uh, taking some security and looking for better options. You know, So this people used to do in their job earlier. But now they are doing the same thing in relationships also. Right? I get so many people who tell me that, oh, I have a boyfriend, you know, I have a girlfriend, you know. Now, but uh, he or she is not as I expected, you know. So 
No, I'm keeping uh, him or her as a backup option. And then, you know, I'm going on searching for somebody better, somebody who looks more better, somebody who is more smart, somebody who is more rich, somebody who has a very rich father, right? <laughs> or mother these days. So, <clears throat> therefore, that's that's the trend in Kali Yuga, right? Because Kali Yuga, as the Srimad Bhagavatam says, uh, it's there in the 10th canto, uh, 12th canto, sorry. Right. Kali Yuga, it is said that in Kali Yuga, the marriages will only be based on superficial attraction, right? And attraction in this world generally means attraction for money or sex life, right? So it's Mercury or Venus. So whoever has more of these two are better eligible candidates. No wonders if they have the worst character, if they are the most biggest liars or cheaters, but they will always have people running behind them like dogs because of Kali Yuga, right? So, therefore, if you feel that you are in a similar situation where you are afraid to make a commitment to somebody, you are afraid to make a decision, you are afraid to uh, say yes for marriage to somebody. Now, this will only hold true if you are having some attraction for somebody or if you are in a relationship, okay? This does not hold true if uh, somebody approaches you who you don't like at all and then, you know, you are confused. It doesn't hold true, right? This holds true for people who you know in general, you have interacted or maybe you are in a relationship or maybe you like them or they like you. You know, there is some uh, mutual uh, understanding between both of you. Only then this will hold true because at the end, uh, you are fearing to go to the next level, right? So, depending on the nature of the planet, if there are natural malefics in the uh, 10th house from Venus, then it can uh, it can seemingly make giving commitments very difficult unless uh, that planet is exalted. Okay, that is an exception, of course. So, for example, uh, if your Venus is in Capricorn, so if Venus is in Capricorn, then which is the 10th house from Capricorn, it's Libra, right? Now, if you have an exalted Saturn there, then things can be different. But imagine you, you do not have Saturn there, you have Rahu or you, know, you have any other planet like Mars. You know? So <clears throat> if you have Mars in the 10th from Venus, now what happens is Mars will also aspect Venus, right? Because then Venus goes to 4th house from Mars and Mars aspects the 4th house, right? So... <clears throat> This means uh, that uh, your decisions of either to stay with somebody or not to stay with somebody will be based on uh, very quick impulses. You know, it's like some instant attraction is there. You know, as they say, love at, love at first sight, divorce at first fight. <laughs> so that's like a probable scenario, right? Where you, you have Mars in the 10th from Venus and it also gives the aspect to Venus. And then... You see somebody and you feel like writing songs and you know you feel like indulging with them. But at the end, what happens? Uh, one fight and everything is blown up. It's gone. It's over. And then for the rest of your life, we are complaining, right? Oh, this person did this to me. That person did that to me, right? So that's what can happen. Now, if Mars is in Multricorn or it is in exaltation or it is in own sign like Scorpio, then things can reduce. Reduce in the sense doesn't mean that it will reduce completely, but it can it can help you if Mars is well placed, either own sign, Multricorn or exaltation. It can help you to control all this. This will be there. You can't stop, but it will help you to control this negativity and look towards the better side of people, provided your horoscope is well supported, provided. Otherwise, uh, Mars in 10th is, uh, even if it's in exaltation with a bad horoscope, is not of much use Okay, uh, on the positive side. And of course, if there is Saturn, then, you know, there is delay, right? Oh, I, I want to stay for some more time. You know, I stayed 10 years. I want to stay one more year and see, you know, if, I get that feeling magically, you know. Or if you are going for arranged marriage, you know, Saturn in 10th from Venus, uh, it's highly probable if your 7th house from Lagna is not that good, that, you know, your 
uh, you may not be able to decide, you know, who should you marry or, yeah, it, it's like a paralysis, paralysis by analysis, as they say, right? <laughs> so <clears throat> that can happen. Why? Because Saturn shows deficiency, right? Saturn shows things that you lack, you or the other person, either ways, or the relationship lacks, right? So... <clears throat> Now, therefore, um, Saturn in 10th from Venus can mean that, you know, you you want to or you don't. But at the end, there's something which you're always looking for. Saturn is also the significator of uh, greed, right? Because you always have this feeling that I lack something. I lack this. I lack that, right? And it can, uh, and after a marriage, it can also show, you know, like lack of uh, intimacy within the relationship, you know, lack of emotional bonding or something like that. Now, uh, what about natural benefits? Now, of course, we did not discuss Rahu, right? So what about Rahu? Rahu Maharaj, he's in the 10th from Venus. Mm -hmm. Not a great situation either. So what happens if Rahu is there? If Rahu is there, there is acute confusion. It's like everything is there, but still you don't know. Still you don't get that gut feeling. So when Saturn is there, there is an observable deficiency within the relationship, which is forcing you to make a choice. Oh, should I settle down for this person or should I not? Or should I look for somebody better? That's what is like Saturn in the 10th from Venus. But Rahu in 10th from Venus is like, okay. Maybe there's nothing or maybe there's everything or maybe there's something and there's something not, but still I'm confused, right? Either ways, I'm confused and Rahu shows very unpredictable behaviors. Sometimes you may say, oh, yes, or today is the time we'll uh, go and get married. Chalo, let's go and finalize things. And tomorrow morning, this person may say, oh, actually, today I'm not interested. No. I don't know why. Mood I, I, I don't have the mood, right? <laughs> So that is something like Rahu in the 10th, okay? And Ketu in 10th from Venus, again, it can lead to headlessness in the relationship. You don't even know what should you do. Should you stay with this person? Should you marry or should you separate or divorce or whatever? You have absolutely no clue, right? If Ketu is there in the 10th, right? That is preventing you from going to the next level, okay? And of course, if you have natural benefits, uh, like for example, Mercury can't be there, of course. But Mercury can be the lord of the uh, 10th house from Venus, okay? So Mercury can help in uh, communication and uh, uh, finalizing things, okay? Even though it's not there, but it can be the lord, as I said. You know, very important to see the lord also. And if Jupiter is there in 10th from Venus, then it can happen that there is greater optimism and greater positivity and greater belief and greater satisfaction. But it also depends on the overall chart, the sixth house from the Lagna. So, for example, if you have a great benefit like Jupiter or maybe, you know, Venus himself is the uh, lord of the 10th from where Venus is placed or Mercury is the 10th lord uh, or maybe Moon is sitting there. Okay, so then what happens is you may want to take things further, but suppose now here's the catch. If your sixth house from Lagna is getting activated, sixth house from the Ascendant, then you may not be able to take things to the next level because of you know external problems. But it is not an internal problem. It's an external problem. On the other hand, suppose you have uh, your seventh lord from Lagna getting activated in Dasha and your tenth house from Venus has a natural malefic then it means like externally situations are supportive but internally you are confused and you are you are hesitating right to give a commitment so therefore uh, if you have natural malefics in the 10 from venus then uh, it may be very important or rather it is very important for you to do some meditation do chant some mantras or chant do some fasting control your uh, desires because uh, at the end you will never find a perfect person right it is just not the way the material world works everybody will have certain deficiencies and we have to learn to tolerate people because everybody else is also tolerating us right <laughs>
once i had uh, gone to my shiksha guru and asked him you know how can i tolerate people you know with this blatant sense of ego i went and asked so guru maharaj please tell me how can i tolerate this person how can i tolerate that person how can i tolerate him 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 so then my uh, shiksha guru told me you can tolerate uh, others just just the way they are tolerating you <laughs> right so we sometimes feel that we are this great soul you know who is going on tolerating everybody but we may be creating so much nuisance to others right this is something which we may not be aware of because of our inflated bloated puffed up ego and arrogance but that's most of the times the reality the people who end up asking how do i tolerate others you know and they end up creating the most disturbance for others they end up becoming the most difficult person to be tolerated by others right so nonetheless uh, we we need to tolerate others and others also might have to tolerate us sometimes because that's how the material world is you know everybody is full of deficiencies everybody has their or egos everybody has arrogance everybody has anarthas you know kama krodha loba moha mada matsare you know lust and we anger greed pride illusion you know all the all these anarthas are there and they are always pulling us down so therefore the only solution if you have 10th house from uh, if you have malefic in 10th house from venus is if you feel there's a deficiency within your relationship then now the only solution is you should uh, do spiritual practices and get above materialistic pleasure which is easier said than done but that's a gradual process and that is something which we can start and gradually we can develop attraction for god and then yeah these petty things will not matter much okay uh, otherwise uh, life is like hell because we are in this never ending search for a perfect person which can be very detrimental for our relationships and for all our other areas in life also okay so therefore uh, if you have natural benefits then it's relatively better but again as i said you need to see the 6th house and the 7th house from the ascendant because ultimately they have the power to decide you know will you end up marrying at this time or that time or whatever or whatever it is you know the dashas are very important and the overall chart is also very important so for example if you have suppose saturn or rahu or mars in the 10th from venus right but at the same time uh, if you have you know a great benefit like jupiter in your 5th house from ascendant right or you have moon in the 9th house from the ascendant you know so or you have mercury or venus these these great benefits in the trines from the lagna then there is relatively more forgiveness in you then there is relatively more uh, capacity for you to accept people for who they are and then this can actually help you counter uh, effects like you know mars in 10th from venus right so it's a very simple uh, calculation that you need to do see the planet in 10th from venus and look at the houses of your marriage the second uh, seventh 11th and the fifth and the ninth so they will give you the final answer right thank you very much if you liked this video please click the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and uh, share this video with somebody who is still wondering if they uh, should marry a particular person or not god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him and yes if you want consultation from me my website is down in the description box thank you very much